salam salam kwelu dakike la lemba greetings to you all in four corners of the earth the one speaking to you it's kahan dawit Solomon speaking to you here in sinai 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 There is a topic that I want us to to analyze or look at. This issue uh, is about our culture. It is about us as Lemba people. Who are we? Why are we called? Jews, hence we are not. Where is this information of being Jews coming from? I really don't understand that because the one speaking to you here now is not a Jew, neither a Hebrew, because Hebrew is a it's a language. It's not a nation. So I will try to analyze the story here. I know this story you are aware of. You read about it in the distorted Bible that was uh, taken from us. by the Ashkenazi. So the Ashkenazi who are calling themselves today Jews and they are living in a land called Israel. So the one speaking to you, his origin is from Yemen the capital city called Sena. So this country was anciently called Asir. So let me go into details about uh, this issue of Israelites. So let us all uh, agree that Israel is a name of a person and his previous name was Yaqub and Yaqub he was a son of Isaac and Isaac was a son of our forefather Abraham Abraham so our forefather here, Abraham, had or gave birth to two sons, of which the firstborn was Ishmael, and the secondborn was Isaac, the one you call Isaac. Yeah, take a note on this one. So, Ishmael gave birth to 12 sons. And these 12 sons became 12 nations. Not 12 nations of Israel. Because Israel was not yet born by that time. And the second born of Abraham, Isaac, gave birth to two sons. So the first born was Esau or Esau, 
and the second born was Yaqub. So you know the story of uh, of these two sons. But the point that I want to I want us to to relate on is this one of the name because Yaqub's name was changed into Israel. So this name Israel, it was a name of Yaqub. So let's all agree that Yaqub is a name. So those who are calling themselves by this name Israel, they are not they are not an enemy of their father Ishmael because they are all born from one lineage of Abraham. So let's let us all remember that Abraham or Abraham was not an Israelite at all. So his grandson Yaqub was then named Israel. So that is not a mistake of renaming a person. So he was renamed Israel. So those who are calling themselves Israel or Israelites, they are not an enemy to Abraham because Abraham is their grandfather and Ishmael is a father too of Yaqub because of his brother Isaac so let it be clear to you that Israel it is not a nation because Abraham was not Israel let's go again to the point here of the country so the country that Abraham was living at was called Canaan so this name Canaan is not a strange name because it is a name of the son of one of the sons of uh, the, the our descendants no or Noah so this is under one lineage so meaning that when the distorted bible says abraham must move from the land of his birth and go to the land of or, or, or to a strange land that is not true because the land is not a uh, strange or it's not a foreign land because it is a land of Abraham's ancestor Canaan so the land Canaan it is the very same land that became a, a promised land according to the distorted uh, uh, the Bible where they say Israelites were liberated from Egypt and they went to a promised land called Canaan We Lemba don't believe that, but I just want you to follow the story so that you can see where the distortion is coming from. Because this promised land, Canaan, it 
It is the land of the Israelites. Now, the problem comes here when we find that this land now is changed into Israel. The question again is, is this Israel the same land or place of the ancient Israel promised land? It is written in which scripture that the land Canaan will be changed and is going to be called Israel. Who changed it? And again, let's uh, question ourselves based on this point again. In the distorted Bible, I do not remember the Israelites as a nation because you are saying Israelites is a nation. That this nation's name is going to be changed into Jews. The information here, it says uh, this name Jews is coming from uh, Judah. And uh, as we recall, or as we remember the, the scriptures here, it says uh, Judah was a son of Yaqub. This is one of the 12 sons of Yaqub. His name was Judah. So I can I cannot remember where the scripture says the Israelites are going to be Jews. So the chosen one here is Judah, and Judah is going to be a, a, a nation that is going to convert all the Israelites into into Jews. So you can you can all see that uh, this name Jews is not written anywhere in the Bible where they say Judah it's a nation. Judah it's a name of one of the sons of Yaqub. Uh, same like Ephraim. Uh, same like Joseph, Dan. So these are all sons of of Yaqub. This tells me that this is a a political organization called Israel, who came and invaded the country called Canaan. And they change it into Israel. And now they are calling themselves Jews. And when you go through the story of these Jews, you find that the language they are speaking, Hebrew, it's also created by these so-called Jews in this uh, so-called uh, distorted Bible. So, so here, uh, sorry about that.
sorry here when you do the research about these Jews you find that this is a combination of uh, of Greek Romans uh, and they form an organization called Jews that's where Judaism comes from so when you look at their continent where they come from and when you study the history you find that these are the the descendants descendants of of Japheth go search about the Ashkenazi and you will see who are the Ashkenazi the Ashkenazi are the Jews and the Jews these Jews are not the descendants of Kush in terms of, of the Bible history. You find that Ashkenaz, when you read in the Bible, Ashkenaz, he is the son of Gomar. And Gomar was also a son of Japheth. So Japheth, Japheth is one of the sons of Noah or no. So how all of a sudden these people become Israel? Because when you read your Bible, you'll find that those who are calling themselves Israel they are the descendant of Cush, not of Japheth. So this must be clear to all of us that we mustn't join the, the political organization and uh, regard ourselves as a nation. Because there is no way in history of the Bible where Jacob's name Israel was changed into Judah. Because Judah, it is a son of Jacob. He had 12 sons, meaning that, that there, there is 12 nations. But all these 12 nations are grouped under one name of the forefather. Israel. So where is this name Jew coming from? Uh, salam salam. Uh, blessings be unto you all who are listening to this video. I hope you will find closure. Uh, this video is not intending to to separate people because the mission here of better israel is to unite all lemba to become one so if you are calling yourself israel that's okay with us because you are using the name of our ancestor and if you are saying you are israel using the name of our ancestor Ezra you are still okay with us because Ezra was the ancestor so we are all one but the enemy here is this one who says he is what is not So those who are calling themselves Israelites in Israel today, they are not. According to this Bible you are reading, read your Bible very well. You will see that these or those who are calling themselves Jews, 
they are not Israel. They are the descendants of Ashkenazi. Salam, salam.